we're gonna pick it up here. I'm just I equip some new sk skills to members of my party. And for the start, I got fortified physique for it. And I got fortified physique for Alicia, as well as Heat Up. I did some power leveling earlier, so now Crowd is on my team. Now, what I need to do here is get out of the forest. Because there's really nothing to do here, and we can't go back to Japan because they're still looking for us. Yes, I want to leave. But the game won't technically let me because they want me to endure another cutscene. I believe we are safe now. Shall we adjourn here until tomorrow? What makes you think we're safe? I cast a force field around the forest. Even were Walther to follow us by teleportation, he would be unable to reach us here. In that case, we should rest. Okay, you're trusting somebody who you've barely known and just have just met. Okay. You surprised me. I thought Silmeria was still with us. She only comes out when we need her for object reading. Usually it's just me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wish I could be of more help. I beg your forgiveness. I never intended to insinuate such a thing. As one versed in the arcane, I am merely intrigued by two spirits sharing one body. Yes. Can we talk all you want? Silmeria can see right through it. So can object reading be used to read another's mind? Well, seems like it should be possible. I think it is. Shall we give it a try? It would be an honor, Lady Silmeria. If you have right, thoughts or me. feelings that are inseparably bound to another life. Or memories of someone who affected you deeply. Then, then I can read those thoughts. Is that so? Allow me to abstain. I would rather not know about my other lives. Perhaps the gentleman uh, He was probably some kind of lower life form. I'd like to believe that in all my other lives, I have been a defender of Dapan. If well, it you doesn't mess around with your powers, reincarnation won't that other with Valkyrie this, detect us? Uh... You've got a yeah. With the whole uh, taking warriors to Valhalla. You two must also be fatigued from your journey. A brief respite is in order. I shall wake you before the sun is high. Naturally, I shall keep watch as you rest. Okay, now I understand why people think the butler usually does it. But the thing is, this aren't kind of creeps me out. And you'll see why as the game progresses, but for now he's temporarily useful for my team. Because his first mini magic is an attack one. And I will show it to you in this video once we move on. I don't know if that is to imply anything, but obviously Square Enix isn't really that good at keeping at revealing secrets. Or Keeping secrets after their characters. For instance, we always have views of Rufus in the end. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to lot of scopes in the place. And I'm going to sell them. Or sell 12 in the super. Okay. I'm trying to be a value customer by buying these accessories. I want poison check. Now I discovered that poison check is actually incredibly handy if you're affected with poison in battle and out of battle. So eight for black crystals. Eight of the broken diamonds. And I'm gonna buy four poisons. 
poison chest, because that's all I need, really. Yes, yes, I know what you mean. I already told the viewers what it is, so... Just shut up. Let's see if it's something better. Yeah. I'm not getting a stun check because faint is actually pretty pointless. It only lasts for a few seconds, and if you wait for a little bit, it will, it will uh, recover. By that I mean like a couple seconds. Other ones it may take like a few minutes. Okay, now we have to go through the Kythena Plains, I think. Yeah, Kythena Plains. Basically, this is one of the path dungeons. There are no there are no effects for it, as I may explain later. I'm gonna save here. Okay. The monsters here are mostly the flying type enemies, so, but they're not the ghost ones. And you'll see me fight it a couple times in this because I want to get some things from these enemies. All right, it's party time, people. Okay, there's a warning jewel. Firestorm. I only have one blue soul flame, so that's disappointing. And there are giant bats. The problem I have with these is that. They're really small, so you can bounce them pretty easily, especially with Lazard's up uh, Okay, Tom Godspeed, that's really handy. It's like a 100% guaranteed lead battle. And we should wear first aid, which means that after an attack, half the damage done is restored. Blue Soul Flame seems to be pretty easy to get, but not in this case for me. I don't know why. Okay, you notice the red glowing thing and the that weird sound of a normal attack? That means it's a critical hit. And I'm just using Rufus because he can target the in crystal, which is where I usually get blue soul flame. Okay, this one I'm gonna let go. But the one in front of me, I'm gonna get rid of. Right, what do we do? We get flying fish and living armor. And that's what flying fish do. Yes, you are injured as hard. I'll show you menu magic. I'm gonna use Thunderstorm on Living Armor. It's a lightning spell, but because of this, I can't use uh, the menu. Okay, they usually drop seafood, but one of my what I'm interested in is something called fish scales. And what those do is this are an ice ring. Yeah, that with a body wound and you get a skill. You unlock a skill called uh, Mental Boost. And that is very useful against uh, for your mages since they don't have high attack. There we go, fish scales. Now if you go in front of the living armor. You can attack him and get Pact Chain, which is a holy rune. You're gonna need that later on. And that's what I need for first day. To uh, not first day. By cold, by crushing, by blade. Did the end come as you wished? Okay, I'm gonna wrap up here. And I will see you later.